Well, folks, I'm here in Tupelo, Mississippi at the headquarters of the American Family Association with its president, Tim Wildman. Tim, thank you very much for letting me come and join you today. Thank you, Tim. Great name. <laughs> well, uh, we share much in common, yeah. not just the name, but also rugged good looks. <laughs> <laughs> and today we want to talk about some of the trends in our culture because for many years AFA has been instrumental in pushing back against some of the poison that is being propagated on our culture. First in television, now through the medium of Hollywood movies. They like to virtue signal and always with their leftist ideology or with their... That's the only thing that's virtuous their, to them. Well, their sexual revolution <laughs> mindset. Right. And yet we are called to stand for godly truths. One of the ways that you all have done that here at AFA is through a tremendous film called In His Image. Tell us a little bit yeah. about that. In His Image is a, uh, a documentary uh, that we started producing a couple of years ago. And it's in response to the transgendered movement in our culture because that's all the rage now, right? Yeah. That's being celebrated by Hollywood and Certainly the entertainment is. industry. And if you speak anything against that, then you're, you know, you're a hateful person or you're a bigot. And what we wanted to do with this film is just follow the testimonies of a few people, uh, four uh, people or so, that uh, lived it out, that uh, lived this life out uh, where they were a man who thought they were a woman or a woman who thought they were a man, and they lived it out. They went to extremes. They dressed like the opposite sex and so forth. And these are people, though, who God reached down and saved and delivered from this lifestyle because it's not all it's cracked up to be. No. And uh, it, it's not natural. Uh, we all know that. Well, with, but the world with, says it is. As with any of the lives that Satan yeah. tries to foist on us, we always end up with uh, eating you know, out of a pigsty yeah. before we come to our senses sometimes. So how could our viewers actually be able to stream and watch this very good and very biblically based Listen, film? Listen, uh, I didn't have anything to do necessarily with the production of this uh, film except to say, yes, team, go, go do this on our staff. Uh, so I can say this, this is five stars. Yes. If you could rate a, a documentary five stars, uh, five being the greatest, this is five stars. You will not be disappointed. You will, you need about 90 minutes, but it is a power, it's gone viral. Yes. And uh, you need to go and watch this and it's free. Just go to inhisimage.movie. 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 It's free to watch and it, it's changing a lot of lives. We're getting emails from around the world about people who've been set free after watching this film. It was a summer day. My dad walked in the door and he said, Denise, I want to become a woman. I went through a brutal time of sexual distortion, molestation, led me into a lifestyle of being gay identified for eight years. I struggled with my identity all the way through my life lived eight years as Laura Jensen until I found the Lord Jesus Christ. The issues are unavoidable. They're on the news. The White House in rainbow colors. They're in our legislation. The Texas bathroom bill. In our schools. Drag queen story out. Our entertainment, our social media. They're even reaching into our churches. Let us be the church together. We're not just talking about issues. We're talking about people. I began injecting myself with massive doses of testosterone. Right here is the needle. The needle's about this big. 15 months on hormone blockers. Maybe another month of hormones. There was always this elusive happiness, but I never quite got there. And you began to realize that maybe this didn't fix what you needed to fix. We are taking biologically healthy young children and putting them at risk. Every church in America is facing this. Love and acceptance and inclusion. They are legally married. As Christians, we can't sit this one out. Neither can we straddle the fence or just leave it to the experts. Every believer has to discover the truth, and that starts by digging into the scriptures. Many people now say that my experience trumps scripture. Can we change God's words? We don't have the luxury to edit what God has said. Being created in God's image means that God's fingerprints are all over us. The man and the woman are created each for each other. There is a fittedness, that's the language. If Jesus Christ becomes your Lord, he is the one who is to identify who you are. I left my partner, I left my job, I left my entire identity behind. And it was the hardest thing I've ever done. Is it really possible that I can experience change? The fact that there's a struggle 
doesn't mean that you're on the wrong path. Obeying God is a struggle. Holiness is a struggle. There is hope for you. God loves you, and you are made in the image of God. I felt like light was bursting forth from me, and I knew I was completely changed.